Hey everyone, welcome back to Spoon FPV. So today I'm going to show you how to take advantage of more features in the Betaflight OSD, specifically how to set up smart audio. And this is going to be a two part series. In the first part, I'm going to show you how to set up the TBS. And in the second part, I'm going to show you how to set up the immersion. So before we, before we get into how to set it up, let's get into, let's show you how, wh what the feature does. All right, so this is what you can do with the smart audio. So to get into it, the Betaflight OSD, you all yet left and push forward on the stick, okay, with your copter plugged in. So we can go into the features menu, and we can go into the VTX, um, and you see how I can see my band up here, and I can switch band to Fat Shark, Race Band, um, Bosch Cam, and I'm on. I'm on E2, and the frequency is 5685, so I can change the channel, and it shows me what frequency it's going to be, and so I'll leave it like that, and my transmit power, I should probably, because I'm inside, I should set it to 25, so I can just set all that stuff, and confirm, yep, now it's transmitting at 25 milliwatts, and like, if I want to change my channel, the DVR is going to cut out, because, you know, it's set to uh, E2, but I can, I can choose set. And then I'm going to be on 50, let's choose one that I actually have in my goggles, so I can set it back easy. So, e, so 5905 I have set in my goggles, so I can hit set, yes, and then you'll see the DVR will go all fuzzy. So I'm going to switch my goggles to that channel and I'll set it back to the frequency that you can see in the DVR over there. And I'll set it, yes. Okay, so now the DVR should be back. So it's that, it's that simple to change your channel, power, everything else on, the, on your quad without having to deal with buttons and all the other stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to hook it up now. All right, so let's get into it. And this is the SW5 frame that I just built up. I uh, got one or two flights out of it this weekend. Maybe I'll cut some of that into here while I'm unscrewing it but one thing that I forgot to mention in my intro there was how the there's there's the smart audio and then there's the tramp so the one that I selected in the in the video there was the first one which is uh, VTX SA which stands for smart audio which is what TBS uses as theirs their format so all right now I'm gonna speed this up me pulling this apart So, let me pull my camera out of here so it's a little neater. We'll just pull everything out of the way. Okay, and then uh, uh, I'll pull this guy out of the way so you can see. And if you want to know, if you want to know where I get, where to get these from so that you can connect something like this, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. But anyway, um, the smart, the TBS smart audio. Let's see how we can see that. Okay. I'm going to pull this stand off out of the way so you can see it better too. All right. So, sorry, this is kind of shaky. So on the TBS, we have uh, the four wires that come out of there. We have a black, uh, a red, so that's your power and ground that are going in. And then you have your yellow, which is your video, and your white, which is usually used for audio. But we're not going to, TBS has opened that line up to Betaflight and they've provided it so that you can you can do what's called the smart audio. So in that, and I, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to set one of these Betaflight F3 boards up. I noticed that a lot of people rewatch that on my video, but you can see the video lines going in here to the video out for the, that. And then the audio line is hooked up to the TX line of head and everything's in the way. The audio line here, the white line, is hooked up to the TX of one of the UARTs. So in this case it is, I believe that's UART 3. Um, yeah, that's that's UART 3 on this board. And that's it. You just solder it into the TX line and then plug it, plug it in the regular plug for TBS the way that it goes and then you're ready to set it up in Betaflight. So let's go into Betaflight and show you how to do that. All right, so now we're in Betaflight. We're gonna actually go over here to the Ports tab, and you can see that I have it enabled over here. So it was, you saw I had it hooked up on UART3, 
and I'm just going to go to Smart Audio, TBS Smart Audio, and that's the one that you'll use for the TBS. And then when I do my video on the uh, IRC Tramp, you'll, that's the one that you'll use for that. So you just select Smart Audio under Peripheral, Save and Reboot, and now you're ready to do all those fancy things that I showed in the video earlier, and it, it makes it a heck of a lot easier at the field to change your channel and change your power and everything else and it makes it less ambiguous when you know what frequency you're on and you can set your goggles to the exact same thing and you know that you're transmitting on that so thanks to everybody that's watching you know I'll put a subscribe button up in the corner for you and some other videos and to all my new subscribers thanks for finding the channel